I just recorded this whole video and then realized I didn't have my mic on. So yeah, we're gonna take round two. <laughs> hello, hello, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Tahiti Ray. If you guys don't know me, I am a mother of two, surrogate mom of one, and musical manifester, I like to call myself. I am on a mission to heal my gut through delicious and nutritious food. Today I'm gonna be giving you guys a tour of my gut feel fridge. I've been calling the way I've been eating the gut feel diet or my gut feel diet because I'm really truly listening to my body and it's all about ultimate gut healing for me because my gut has always been a weak spot for me. I've struggled from IBS, weight gain, lethargy, and it all really stems from my gut health. So I hope this inspires you as well to get rid of all the junk in your fridge. I have a really fun organizational hack that will allow you to keep all of your fermented foods, kimchi and sauerkrauts all easily accessible. They're not shoved in the back of your fridge. So stick around to the end of this video. And if you wanna see how I do that, I'll have that at the end. Let's start with the top of the fridge. I actually drink a ton of water while gut healing and doing intermittent fasting. I normally do just straight water from my Berkey filter or I make my own soda water with a soda stream, but sometimes when I just want a little bit of a sweeter soda water, I will go for Spindrift. So Spindrift's actually pretty sweet to me because I don't drink a lot of sugar or eat a lot of sugar. So they're kind of like a dessert. So I'll keep them around when I feel like a dessert. They have a few, just a few net carbs and they're really refreshing. I also keep tons of pasture raised eggs, chickens that have been pasture raised and not fed grains, which is really, really important. Right now I've been keeping a lot of the Shuja immunity boost because of, you know, viruses going around. This is also up here is where I also keep my little treat. Like if, I, if it's that time of the month and I want a little bit of dark chocolate, I will go for the Lily's dark chocolate. Curbs that craving for chocolate and yet I'm still not falling off of my gut healing diet. Down here in the main area, I like to keep all of my cruciferous green leafy vegetables. I keep tons of arugula and spinach, and butter lettuce, microgreens. I keep all of my ripe avocados in the fridge because that way it slows down that ripening process once they're ready to go and then that way um, they're not getting too overripe outside the fridge. I put all my leftovers here. I love these glass Tupperwares because you can just take the bamboo lid off and then put it right in the toaster oven and heat up your leftovers really easily that way, no making any other dirty dishes. I always have something thawing in my fridge. I get all of my meat locally from a place called Forage that has grass-fed animals, pork, chicken, sausages, organ meats, all the things, but they all come frozen. So I'm always making sure that there's something thawing in my fridge so I can just easily access it, cook it up in a hurry if I need to. So just having something always thawing, huge for me. I always keep fresh herbs. I put cilantro and parsley on almost every single salad or food that I'm making. There's so many micronutrients inside of parsley and cilantro and I just love them. So I always keep them around. I keep them fresh in the fridge for longer by making sure that I put them in a little mason jar with some fresh water and I change that water out every few days. I always keep some sort of kombucha in the fridge. I don't drink a lot of kombucha um, because I'm doing so many other gut healing things. I do eat a lot of fermented foods, take probiotics. I drink a ton of bone broth, but I do maybe drink maybe a fourth of a cup to a whole cup of kombucha sometimes every day. It just does also have sugar, so you gotta be careful with that. Um, so I always just take a little bit of it every day. The drawers in my fridge are really pretty small and because I eat a ton of vegetables and because my toddler eats a lot of fruit, I don't use the drawers for that. I actually use the drawers for storing my grass-fed cheeses as well as my grain-free tortillas that my toddler loves for his uh, quesadillas and stuff. So I keep those in the drawers and then I keep my fruits and my vegetables up where I can see them really easily. Got these baskets off of Amazon. I will put the link below for you guys. And I love this because it just keeps it really visible. You see the vegetables, that you see the greenery, and it actually makes you really want to eat them. And then also with the fruits too, my son will come and grab his apple, grab his little fruit pouch, he'll grab if I've got grapes or watermelons, whatever it is, he literally comes and grabs it himself and walks away eating something healthy. I try not to snack as much as possible because I'm trying to practice intermittent fasting. I'll start my day off with water and I'll have a bulletproof coffee, which is like a keto butter coffee. I made a video on how I make that. Um, I'll put that below as well. I'll start my day off with that and then I'll have a cup of bone broth probably around like one or 2 p.m. and then I'll have my meal later in the day. But if by any chance I'm kind of feeling snacky, I will reach for these healthy snacks. I always keep macadamia nuts, pistachios, olives, and some sort of seeds kind of around or pickles. These are these are really healthy, high fat, low carb snacks. So I'll just literally reach in with my hand and grab a handful and just eat a handful. The only condiments that I keep in my fridge are Primal Kitchen ones. Primal Kitchen is an awesome brand. This is not sponsored by them, of course. I really respect the brand because they create condiments with no soybean oils. Pretty much every condiment is made with avocado oil. So it's a super high quality oil. It's not these nasty oils that you're not supposed to be eating. And then they don't add sugar, which is super duper important when you're trying to be in ketosis and you're trying to heal 
your gut. People don't realize how much sugar they add just by adding ketchup or just by adding mayo or just by adding ranch, like anything like that, it all contains sugar. So just be really, really careful. I love Primal Kitchen. I also keep sriracha. I keep my Bulletproof iced coffee steeping in the fridge as well as some therapeutic coffee. I've been using this to do some coffee enemas, uh, which I will tell you guys about in a later video, but that's actually really helped me to sort of clear out my gut a little bit. And yeah, and the rest of the things, I keep some wasabi and like other random various mustard and things like that over there and some pickled ginger. So I promised you, if you stuck around to the end of the video, I would tell you how I organize my kimchi and my sauerkrauts and stuff. And for me, I was keeping them all in their original boxes and putting them in the back of the fridge. And I was realizing like, I'm not even reaching to grab these things and I should be eating this every single day. It's easier for me to digest. There's all the wonderful probiotics, all of that good stuff. So what I did, I ended up moving all of my fermented vegetables into their own little mason jars. I got a tiny little container that fits really easily right in between both of my fruits and my vegetables. And I even keep like a little tongs like right there. So that way when it's time to grab my fermented foods, make my salad, I literally just pull it out, take a couple little scoops from either one that I want, and it's just super accessible. If you guys are on a gut healing journey as well, I'd love to hear from you. Or even if you're not, like if you're interested, like if you're not feeling well, if you're tired, if your bowels are irritable and you're just feeling not great, like honestly, it's probably because you have a gut microbiome issue, which was my problem. And I am really excited to just continue to keep going down this journey and see how much better I feel, how much healthier I feel, how much more energy. And it's already, I've only been doing it for just a few months and I feel so much better. So I just really want to ins inspire other people to, to make the same changes because it's so possible if you just truly listen to your gut and trust that it knows how to heal itself. If you just get out of its way and let it heal, the changes can be amazing. Next, I will be doing like my kitchen stuff, like how I store all my avocado oils and my ghee and my butter and like what I cook on and stuff and how I do bone broth. Like I, I, I always have a thing of bone broth going in my house and I drink it every single day. It's life changing stuff. Thank you so much for watching. If you got anything from this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. It really helps me and my channel. If you threw away even your ketchup that has sugar, please tell me below in the comments and I will give you a huge big virtual hug because I think that just even just the tiniest little steps towards gut healing, you have to celebrate these things. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.